chair, Elaine, to kind of map out when we're going to see these storms and how severe they could possibly get. It looks like the greatest risk of severe weather will end up being more north and east of Charlotte. And I'll show you a closer map at that here coming up. But, but really, I know we've got the clouds around today, but just not a whole lot of rain yet. Most of us are staying dry. We've seen some isolated, mainly lighter showers moving through from time to time. But the more substantial band of rain has been focused now as been moving through the mountains, Ash County, Watauga County, especially getting some heavier rain closing in on Boone up into the Jefferson, Helton and Creston areas. This is all pushing off to the east. And so we could get some heavier pockets, maybe uh, moving more into the mountains of Caldwell County into Wilkes County as well. So all of this coming in ahead of a cold front, cold front still back off to our west. And so until it starts to clear the area, that shower and storm chance will continue. When does that happen? Not until say about 9, 10 o'clock or so later on tonight. And so the rain and storm chances even around the Charlotte area look to ramp up just a little bit going into the next few hours, but you're not going to have to worry about any sort of severe weather threat while you're sleeping tonight, so you can rest easy about that. And when we're talking about the risk of severe storms, which will be up in this more yellow highlighted area, so talking about, say, near Alexander County, Statesville, Salisbury, down through Albemarle, even uh, Kannapolis and Concord, if you live in those areas, just continue to stay weather aware over the next few hours. Damaging wind gusts would be the main threat if we do get some of those storms moving through ahead of that front. But right now in the Queen City, simply looking at a mostly cloudy sky, we've got a warm 81 degrees. The dew point numbers coming up just a bit, so feeling just a little more of that moisture out there. Slightly more humidity in the low 60s. We've also got a south wind at about 12 miles an hour, and that's going to be part of the weather story too. The next day or so, some gusty wind picking up. 79 checking in in Monroe. We've got upper 70s, lower 80s off to the east there through Wadesboro and Rockingham. Cooler 64 now in Boone with that rain coming in and mid 70s, mid to upper 70s from Hickory heading down Highway 321 into Gastonia and down toward the Rock Hill area. What to expect this week? OK, so we have this first storm system that we're talking about. The first front bring this chance of showers and storms, but the storm chance will end later on this evening. Back to quiet conditions for the next couple of days before we get another much slower moving system, an area of low pressure pressure that will bring more of us much better rain chances, some needed rain chances too, starting Thursday. And that one could stick around even heading into the weekend. So tonight the theme will be kind of drying out. Again, the storm chance coming to an end will end up around 53 in the morning. Most of us are dry. 70 degrees for a high tomorrow afternoon. And there's that gusty wind breaking out at about 20 to 30 miles an hour for those wind gusts. So just keep that in mind. If you have some of those holiday Halloween decorations outside, make sure they're secured down those inflatables so they don't blow around too much. Alright, so here is now the late week storm system. By the end of the day on Thursday, we will see more widespread rain covering the Carolinas here. And you can see as we take it out into Friday, the shower chance continues even into Saturday until finally that area of low pressure to the north of us does start to scoot out. And then by the end of the day on Saturday, especially after Sunday morning, we are looking at drier conditions to finish out the weekend. And this is what I was talking about. Some needed rain anywhere from an inch to as as much as three, maybe close to four inches. We'll have to see just how much heavier rain we can get to swing in here, but that will be possible by late Saturday and early Sunday, especially up toward the mountains and foothills where maybe some at least minor flooding may develop in spots. So that's something that we're watching for again later on in the week. As I said, though, by trick or treating time on Sunday evening, we are looking good. It's going to be a cool Halloween this year. Temperatures backing off into the 50s by seven, eight, nine o'clock, and it looks to be under a mostly clear starlit sky. So cool and spooky out there. All right, so here tonight, temperatures, and this is by tomorrow morning, falling into the mid-40s in the mountains, upper 40s to lower 50s everywhere else. And check out how much cooler it will be here this week. Highs only around 70 next couple of days, but even cooler Thursday and Friday with the areas of rain around Saturday. Look at that high, only 63 degrees. And then back to some sunshine Sunday and early next week.